As you were dealing with the crisis uh, as it went on, uh, did you think or act on the basis that this was a film protest gone out of control? And when you briefed the president, did you tell him that? Or did you tell him, which Admiral Mullen suggests you knew by then, that this was a well-planned and executed terrorist attack? Which was the president told? Well, first of all, I said the very next morning that it was an, a, an attack by heavily armed militants. The president said that morning it was an act of terror. At the same time, however, I was dealing with protests against our facilities that were clearly connected to that video. Right. Yeah. So, so we were we were managing a, a number of say. such. Let's uh, just say that events. you noted you noted that, uh, uh, and it can be, you know, people do this so that you can say that you said it. But the emphasis, we all remember what the emphasis was, over and over and over again, it was repeated that we had enraged the uh, Islamic terrorists, which, by the way, uh, what's that do? When you say that we enraged the Islamic terrorists, uh, that means we're at fault. They're not at fault. And uh, then to look and see that the only people that I know who are in jail right now is the filmmaker. Uh, isn't think this a little disconcerting? Well, first, first, Congressman, I, I want to be clear that, of course, it was a terrorist attack. Um, the very next day, I called it an attack um, by heavily armed militants on our compound. I think there is still, however, questions about exactly what caused it, who the attackers were. The ARB, after months of research, said the picture is still very complicated. Well, and uh, and I, I think it's Madam worth members looking at both the unclassified and classified ARB with, with that in mind. 